Hey guys, TechGeekHD here again with another video and I know I do apologize, it's been quite a while since I've made uh, any videos but that is because as you guys can most likely see, I am now in my uh, university dorm room. I'm actually at the Rhode Island School of Design. If you guys are in the Rhode Island Providence area, do feel free to just come by, tweet me or whatever and we'll be sure to meet or whatever. So yeah, thumbs up for that. Either way, today's video is going to be about me telling you guys everything you need to know about the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6S, as well as the Apple Watch and Apple Payments. Now recently, Apple just finished up with their keynote today. It's been a very eventful day. It's been a very eventful day in Apple um, and uh, in California, all over the states, all over the world. And it's been, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just been a very interesting day with the kind of products that Apple has released. Now there's been a lot of leaks and rumors been going around about an iPhone uh, 6 and being released in two different variants, a 4.7 inch and a 5.5 inch iPhone and that is exactly what happened today. Apple released the iPhone 6 which is the 4.7 inch variant and the iPhone 6 Plus which is the 5.5 inch variant. Now they come in a little bit of a different price bracket. Um, one of the things that I really personally really really liked about what Apple did was that you can buy the iPhone 6 on a two year contract for $299 uh, or it starts at 199 for 16 gigabytes but now the 299 model is no longer 32 gigabytes it's actually 64 which is a huge improvement. I just wish that they had made the 16 gigabytes gigabyte model uh, and just replace that with a 32 gigabyte model because I believe they would have got more sales there. What they're basically trying to do is push everybody to buy the 64 gigabyte variant but that's really just a marketing strategy on Apple's terms because after all they are a sole proprietor, I mean they are an entity trying to make money so overall that's basically what they could do. Uh, I mean at the end of it they are a company that wants to make money. Uh, also, Apple released the Apple Watch today, which is very cool. Uh, it's something that we've been looking forward to for quite a while. It is a direct competitor to Android Wear, the LG G Watch, the Moto 360, all of the new smartwatches that have come out very recently. But all of those require you using an Android phone. This one is basically the first smartwatch, besides for the Pebble, like a fully functional themed um, everything smartwatch available for iOS. Now, I've been using an iPhone for uh, quite a long time now. I used Android for a little bit. I was thinking of getting the um, OnePlus One, but I'm completely sold on the iPhone 6. Personally, I wanted to get the 6S or the 6 Plus. Um, I don't like their new naming strategy very much, but I wanted to get the iPhone 6 Plus because of the 1080p resolution, but unfortunately, the unlocked price is gonna be pretty high for me, and so I'm most likely gonna have to get uh, the iPhone 6, but the 64 gigabyte model, which is a little bit better. I'm sacrificing a little bit of screen resolution for more storage, but that's honestly the best I can afford right now, so that's what's gonna happen happen. So I am going to be selling my iPhone 5S, I believe, probably at the time that this video is being uploaded, I've already sold it. If not, uh, then it's going to be listed up for sale. Um, most likely um, an actual physical cash transaction because that's what I feel comfortable with personally. Um, and that's basically about it, guys. I mean, the iWatch or the Apple Watch comes in three different models. The Apple Watch, the Apple Watch Sport, and the Apple Watch um, Edition. Now, these are just three different variants, and of course, they come in two different sizes, which is a smaller and a larger size. If I do manage to pick up the Apple Watch. It does retail for $350 before taxes. It's going to be available only early 2015, which um, I think Apple should have learned or Apple should have tried their best to capitalize on the Christmas market that's upcoming and it's going to be here very, very soon. Christmas time is right around the corner. That's when everybody's going to be buying these things. So maybe it was a problem with production. Maybe it was a product, uh, a problem with manufacturing, marketing, something or the other. I don't work for Apple and I don't know. Uh, but I think that might have been something that they should have done if they wanted to increase sales in overall revenue. Now, overall, Apple has been doing very well for the last couple of years, uh, but this is a very niche market. It's something very new and emerging. And if Apple, uh, which has generally been the company to change the game for a pretty long time and when it comes to introducing new product categories, I think personally that they should have worked as hard as possible, even delayed the iPhone launch if they wanted to a little bit and got the Apple Watch out for sale in time because it does also work with the iPhone 5 as well as the iPhone 5S and iPhone iPhone 5C if you have any of those products. Now again, as I mentioned, it's going to be available for $350. Uh, of course, it's an unlocked device. It doesn't use any sort of cellular connection. It basically connects to your iPhone to do everything that it does. Uh, it has a very interesting interface. It uses the touch screen along with a third dimension where you can actually push down into the screen a little bit, which is very interesting. I'm going to see how that pans out and if everybody can learn to get accustomed to the new interface. Uh, I personally, from first impressions, thought it was a little bit cluttered. Um, and and not something very Apple-esque, but overall I think I'm going to have to wait and see when I can actually feel and hold and experience this product for myself in person and physically.
Now, anyway, guys, that does about do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please do remember to leave it a like rating by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom left-hand corner of this video. And for more videos like these, as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials, and much, much more, and they're coming very soon, I'm trying my best to get it out to you, please do remember to subscribe. I would really, really appreciate your help. It does keep the channel going. It is what increases my viewer base, my subscriber base. And yes, the giveaway has ended. The 7,500 giveaway winner, or the 7,500 subscriber giveaway winner is going to be announced in the next couple of days so stay tuned for that do remember to check my twitter uh, follow me on twitter instagram whatever tumblr i will try and see if i can get the giveaway winner out over there sometime but i will make an official video or it will be part of a video so that it's easier for you guys to find out who the winner was since this was a youtube based competition so anyway guys that does about do it thanks again very much for watching i appreciate your viewership and as always i will catch you all in the next video peace